Dreyaldday.com. Dreyaldday.com. Topic of this video is <clears throat> libraries and TVs. And this is, this concept these days is more metaphorical than it is literal, but it used to be literal. And I'll tell you what the literal saying is. I actually sent this out in uh, one of my daily motivation text messages a few days ago. If you don't get that text, text me at 305-384-6894. The number's down below. I send that daily motivation for free every day to everybody in my text community. But the old saying back in the day, when I say back in the day, I mean like 20 years ago, people would say that successful people have big libraries while unsuccessful people have big televisions. And again, that used to be a literal thing because back in the days, if you wanted to read a book, you had to have the physical book and every book you read, you kept it somewhere in your house. You had this big shelf with a bunch of books on it. And then if you wanted to get entertainment, the only place to get it was you turned on the TV. Nowadays is again is metaphorical now because you can read books like even me personally. I used to have a whole bunch of I used to have a whole shelf full of physical books. I pretty much uh, moved those moved off of those and you know gave them gave them away, gave them to the libraries and stuff like that. Nowadays, when I read books, is almost always a digital book. So I've read uh, how many books have I read in my life? I wouldn't say a thousand, no, probably not a thousand, but I've read a few hundred books. And those hundred, almost all of them, I have a digital version, not a physical version. And then if I want entertainment or you want entertainment, you don't have to have a TV. I don't even own a TV. And then some people don't have TVs, but they got, they spend a whole lot of time on their phones or on their tablets or on their computers watching whatever, entertainment. So what the concept means these days, again, in a metaphorical sense, is that successful people spend time consuming material that's going to make them more valuable. What I, how I... Define personal development is any material that you consciously consume, intentionally consume, that is designed to make you a more valuable individual. That means you're smarter, you're more efficient, you can do your job better, you can just you're you're a you're a bigger contributor to society because of that material that you consumed. That's personal development. Successful people take in a whole bunch of that stuff. That's what it means to have a big library. That could be a book. It can be a course. It could be a, a coaching program that you signed up for. It could be a mastermind group that you're a part of. It could be a, a seminar that you attended. That's what it means when I say big library. And a big TV, on the other hand, is people who consume a lot of entertainment material. So just the same way that you could be on your phone reading a book, you could also be on your phone watching some nonsense on YouTube. Like right now you're watching this video. The stuff that I do is personal and professional development. Everything I put out is material that's gonna make you better, smarter, uh, more intelligent, make you more conscious, remind you of the stuff that maybe you quote unquote already know, things you heard before but you haven't been reminded of or you kind of slipped off the wagon on. That's personal development. You can watch YouTube and get a whole bunch of personal development material because there's plenty of it. Or you could be watching YouTube, watching um, a, a rap battle or listening to some mixtape by some rapper, or you could be looking at uh, some podcast where people are talking about, they're just talking about people, the basically current events type of podcast, because it was Eleanor Roosevelt who said, small minds talk about other people, average minds talk about events and things that happen, and big minds talk about ideas. So you could be talking about, you could be consuming material that's talking about people and events, that's big TV, or you could be consuming material on that same phone, on that same app, like YouTube or the podcast app or social media or your email list. You could be consuming material that's making you smarter, better, you know, more on point, more focused, helping you do your job better. That's a big library. You get what I'm saying here? So that's why it's, meta, it's more metaphorical now than it is literal. It used to be literal, but now it's more metaphorical because you could take, you could do the same nonsense. You could do nonsense on the same device in which you do some actual good stuff. Whereas, again, back in the day, you couldn't do that. You had to kind of do one or the other. So here's the point. If you want to be successful in life, and everybody understands this, so this is one of those points that, uh, let me not say everybody. Most people understand this. And most of you unconsciously get this. You might not consciously think about it all day, every day, but you understand this when I say it, even if you never thought about it before. The most successful people are usually spending the highest percentage of their resources time money attention energy and focus on what things that are going to make you smarter better more efficient make you a higher higher level contributor to other people 
you're consuming big library things. Y'all get what I mean when I say that? Big library. And I'm going to do a whole podcast episode on this. Now that I'm explaining it out, I should do a whole podcast episode on it. And I will. And the reason why those people become successful is because they're putting a higher percentage of what they do into stuff that's going to make them better and more valuable and just a higher level individual by your estimation of what that would mean for you. You need to know what that means. What would make you a more valuable person? It's not the same thing for everybody. So if you're an athlete, for example, what would make you more valuable is you probably should be spending time in the gym with your trainer working on your on your game and on your skills. So you can be sharper when you get on the court or in the field or on the track. Now, on the other hand, if you're a if you're a, a lawyer or a philosopher, you're a college professor, you shouldn't be on the, in the gym or on the track. It doesn't mean you shouldn't go to the gym, but health is wealth. But what it means is you should be spending the majority of your time, when we talk about being sharper, what does that mean? That means you probably need to be reading uh, journals, you need to be reading other you know, documents that your peers are writing, you need to be studying on the material that you're teaching in your classes, maybe writing more stuff that you could possibly put out and publish on your own stuff because you're in a different line of work. So it's different stuff for each person. So it's not necessarily about the amount of work in volume and just raw numbers. It's about the percentage of the time. How are you spending that time? How are you, dis- how are you spending your discretionary time? And this is something that I heard, I can't remember who exactly said it, but there was somebody probably back in the days when I first got introduced to network marketing, people were talking about this. They were saying, because a lot of times in network marketing, when people first get started, they would say, and I got introduced to it when I was in, like, in college and I didn't stay in it. I didn't build a career there, but I got a lot of value out of the experience because I learned a lot of stuff, a lot of uh, stuff about the concept of entrepreneurship I learned through a network marketing experience. So they would say, look, because a lot of people in the room, they would have full-time jobs, but they would do the network marketing because they're trying to make some extra money, right? So what the trainers would say is, look, you got eight hours to sleep. Let's just say eight hours that you sleep, even though a lot of people don't sleep eight hours. Then you got eight hours at work. That's your full-time job. And then you got eight discretionary hours to pretty much, you know, whatever else you want to do with your life over those, those other eight hours. And what you do with those other eight hours pretty much determines where you're going to end up in life. And that's a really good point and we should all think about that consistently because it it plays a big role in where we end up in life what are you doing with that discretionary time that you have because all of us have most of us let me say do something for our full-time work and then biologically the universe demands that we have some time for rest even if you're only sleeping five hours a night you still need that time is demanded from the universe and then you have discretionary time you can do what you want what are you doing with that time and this is where big library or big TV and understand that big library and big TV doesn't have to be a device. Everybody understands that, right? That means if you, you could pay money, you could spend a thousand dollars on a ticket to go to a, a conference that's going to teach you how to make more money in your business this year. That's a, that's an investment. That's a big library investment, or you could spend a thousand dollars on a ticket to, um, What's the, con- what's the event they have out in California everybody talks about? I think it's in California. The Coachella. Everybody wants to go to that show and everybody puts on a, the um, interesting costumes and outfits to go to that concert. I don't know how much those tickets are. But let's just say they're $1,000 a piece. You can spend $1,000 on either one. All right? Big library or big TV. Which one are you investing in? And let me be clear about something. I'm not telling you that you're wrong, and nor am I here to judge you or tell you what to do with your life and your money and your time, whatever you want to do, you do it. What I'm putting out here is letting you know that the more successful people invest in big library, the less successful people invest in big TV. That does not mean that there are not successful people who do entertainment things. I do entertainment things. I will watch uh, some entertainment video, something that's funny. What was I watching that was funny? Damn, I can't remember. I was looking at something. It was something I was looking at just today. It was either on Instagram or YouTube, and it was funny. It was not some. It wasn't some personal development. It wasn't something to help me make more money. It was some silly, funny stuff that I happened to stumble across, and I watched it, and it was funny, and I laughed. But the question again, go back to what I said earlier, is not the volume of time. Is not whether or not. Is not that you have to completely abstain from any other material. It's what percentage of your time are you investing into library material? What percentage are you investing into television material? That will be a, that's a, a leading indicator and a trailing indicator for where you are in your life right now. 
those of you who don't understand that language, the leading indicator is when you do these things, it usually leads to this outcome. That's a leading indicator. When you're doing this, it usually means this is going to happen. So a leading indicator is like somebody who eats a lot of candy usually needs to get cavities filled when they go to the dentist. You do this first, it leads to that. That's a leading indicator. A trailing indicator is something that usually happens after something else happens. So if you, like I'm driving in Miami right now, if I see a, a rope, if I see a, a chained off uh, land mass, a chained off area with a pile of rubble inside the chained off area, it usually means that a building got demolished. That's a trailing indicator that a demolition crew took that building down, right? That's a trailing indicator. That means when you see this, that means something usually happened before and we can usually guess what it was. So leading indicators, trailing indicators, and all of this is, again, goes back to your personal and professional development. How much time are you putting into each? How much uh, attention, energy, focus, and money are you putting into these things to move yourself forward in life? This plays a big role in where people end up in life. So with all of that said, I'm going to tell you two things. First of all, you want to get my daily motivation text. It's a message that I send out for free every morning to everyone in my text community. You want to receive this message, and why would you not? For free every day all you gotta do is text me my number here's the number it's down below in the description as well it's 305-384-6894 and tomorrow morning when i send that message out you'll get it and secondly work on your game university.com if you would like to work with me directly if you want to be coached by me directly if you want to get help from me directly on your business on your next steps moving forward this kind of stuff that I'm talking about, if this resonates with you, if this stuff is kind of speaking to you, and these are the kind of things you know you need, go to workonyourgameuniversity.com and on that page you'll see all your steps, what you need to do next to get to working with me directly. And the game is out there. Let's get to it. Work on your game. Dre all day.